Hi, this is 2015 Mercedes G Wagon, and today we're gonna show you how to remove the factory screen, factory radio, and also how to uh, get access to all the harness from the Android screen. So, before the installation, uh, we will need to uninstall the factory glove box. So this way, easier for you to install the Android power harness on the vehicle. So when you, once you open the glove box, and you have four screws over there. Uh, there's one location, one, two, three, four. So after this four screw, there's nothing holding it and the screw will look like this which is the torque T20 or T21 <coughs> so once you have this four screw removed and the whole glove box come out but be careful there's one connector to connect the light for the glove box so to remove it and the glove box can fully remove from the car. After that, you can see there's a lot of space you can access. So this is the reason why we need to remove the glove box. And also, when you remove the factory screen, you will need to pop those two covers from the back. And they are the torque screw too. Once you have these two release, the screen lift up and remove it and there's two connector close to the factory screen and for the radio you will need to use the popper panel to pop this frame out so this is the frame you can just use your hand to pop it out um, there's a uh, clips metal clips around this frame so this is the way to take out the frame first. After that, you can see this screw holding the vent on the left and on the right. So once you have this removed, on the other side, remove. Once you get this removed, two on top, one and two. So the vent come out and the radio to release the radio there's one two screw one on the left one on the right to holding the factory radio release that then you can take out the factory radio and regarding how to run the aux if your vehicle come with AMI slot which is the rectangle plug behind the uh, USB port so you will need to remove the plastic cover right here once you remove you will see four four screw holding the glove box uh, sorry holding the armrest so once you have this removed this is the screw to holding the armrest it can be four and they will be bigger size on the torque 30 so once you have this removed you can either get it from the passenger side or the driver's side um, it depends how you like it so we usually do it from the driver's side and when you're on the driver's side it will be two screws holding the mat and there's one more behind the seat which is right here once you have this three screw release and this is the screw how it looks like once you have this release you just need to yeah, you can move it here. remove it and use the use the fish to fish it in to the handbrake and for the for the arm armrest you just lift up gently because this few connector connect to the factory cigarette lighter adapter the factory knob controller and you 
have enough room to use the fish to fish in the space you also can run the uh, USB extension if you order into the armrest and also the uh, aux cable you can do the same way here so you can, as you can see there's a lot of space underneath the armrest uh, this way is to tie up four school but you still have space here so which is you can run the USB extension and also the aux cable and regarding the GPS antenna and Wi-Fi antenna for the G-Class it's better to leave it on top of the uh, dashboard for the uh, GPS antenna and 4G antenna 4G antenna is the one that you in if you insert the SIM card to the unit and use 4G and let the Android system have its own internet then you will need to connect the 4G if you only use CarPlay or Android Auto the GPS signal will direct from your phone you don't need to install the GPS antenna and the 4G antenna so the 4G antenna is for the SIM card the GPS antenna is for locations and offline map if you download it on the Android systems and also the unit come with internal mic if you like you can also get the uh, noise cancelling external mic for your vehicle and usually we can you can put it on the A pillar uh, or you can run it behind the rear view mirror so those are the position that we highly recommend which is close to the driver if you have any other questions, please let us know or send us an email to tech and at 4x4shop.ca. Thank you.